Hello, hello, hello guys and welcome back to Joe's Ventures and today we're doing uh, another episode. This will be the final episode of our Prehistoric Kingdom Habitat build. So we can see here we've started off with the Prinocephaly, done the three Edmontosaurus species. We've got Ungrunalic Gnupaensis here. We've got, I'm sure that's pronounced, it might be, might be wrong, Gapinensis or something. And then we've got our Regalus here and ends with our bigger Nectans habitat here. But we're going to be ending off with a mammal, believe it or not. Here we're going to be having the quit essential ice age animal. We have got the woolly mammoth. There's a blonde skin. We'll go with the step skin. Oops, grab that. There we are, step. So we all know the mammoth, pretty much the quit essential ice age animal, roamed from Europe to Alaska and even in America to until about 12,000 years ago when the other ice age beasts went extinct living in large herds along the mammoth step which it helped maintain an extinct like habitat that was huge and it's a very awesome animal very similar to today's elephants and in terms of like social structure believed because they found a lot of individual males the most of the individuals found tend to be young males that haven't quite learned how to be the toughest biggest male in the block yet and that's how you compare to modern elephants so sort of them very similar to modern elephants in terms of sociality so we, what we're going to do and we're going to reflect that in our park today what we're going to do is we're going to create a paddock for a bunch of males here so they can have like a dominance hierarchy because the biggest male obviously is the biggest and the one that gets all the females and the younger ones kind of learn from him and then the females live in larger herds where they protect the young as they move across the landscape so yeah what we're going to start with here yeah so then what we're going to start is going to make a male paddock here. But we've got to use the perfect fence. I think this fence will work well. So let's... Obviously we'll imagine these gates so we can move each animal to and from. So that'll just be the must, because similar to modern elephants, it's believed they would have gone into must, which is a period where they get like really, really aggressive. So that could be the must paddock. Otherwise, I'll just put them in with the females. So they were going to have the paddock going this way. What I think will be fun is if we have it going around and then split it off. So now that's pretty huge, what we're going to do is split it into different pieces. Might be a funky design, but I think it'll look fun. Well, that might be a bit small. I think we'll extend that one out a bit. I like that. Really fun, interesting shape. That we can make like a really cool uh, indoor house, similar to like how you would in Planet Zoo. But I think that looks fine as it is, actually. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of all our plants here. So there, and then we'll. Place our pods. Should be great. Why is it an invalid path? It's rude. I have to smooth it out a bit. Smooth 
Voilà. I'll go from here. Maybe we'll add something concrete, asphalt concrete. I'm thinking something that a dirt substrate path that could be fun. Maybe around here. That's annoying. Mm hmm and then we will find the substrate path. I don't think we'll be able to connect that. We'll just pretend it's connected. I think that looks nice. Let's add some other buildings around here too. I don't think we'll need a spot to put it as long as you walk down here and shouldn't be too much to kind of look at. So yeah, it'll be fine. Let's just go with the sub polar. Sub polar. Not very many trees near that hill. So we'll just paint over it with grass. Let's see what we can do. We'll add our big water bottle holes in the corner there. We thought if there's a big enough swimming pond so you can have mammoth swimming and all that. So when often zoos, you be often have different paddocks and such, so you can swap in animals to and from. Especially if they've got like a complex society, like elephants do, because often even other animals don't like another animal personally, or maybe you just need to separate males from females, or need to separate one from another one to get treatment. So it's very useful to have all sorts of different paddocks and such to maybe just get rid of that tree in your way. It's kind of annoying me. <laughs> Very important for Zeus to have something like that. Just as we make our wonderful paddock. And then what we'll do, I think we'll add some dirt. There wouldn't have been that much snow on the uh, ground in the Ice Age because even though the world was a lot cooler, it was also a lot drier. So a lot of the water was locked in the ice caps. So there probably wouldn't have been too much snow around. No, that's still saying there wouldn't be snow, but not as wouldn't be a lot of snow. Allowing these big mammoth step habitats to actually do pretty well. Let's see if we can tidy them up a bit too.
put the grass in. I actually quite like this texture of the subpolar, like the mossy rocks and such. Let's add some, that's sand. And we'll add some sand at the top here. We've got to add some somewhere. Elephants do like to cover themselves in sand to protect from biting insects. And which I assume mammoths would kind of do too, because sometimes even in the winter, um, in the summer of up there, it can get quite warm and lots of biting insects. Even like Neanderthals and people that live up there cover themselves to try and get rid of biting insects, which no one enjoys. I think we'll have to give this um, some love. We also need to add some rock on this slope city. I like that a lot actually. And we'll add some more in here. A rock, some snow. No, it's not sand. Now it's plant time. Let's see. Can't do that. Okay, let's move what we're doing. Let's Plant some trees. Obviously, being the mammoth step, there wouldn't be that many trees. But we're still a small part of the diet of mammoths. So. Probably similar to elephants today, just, just there's less trees around. So we'll add some in the corners in the back around here. So it'll look cool. And then leave the front areas where people will view them as uh, a little bit more open. Like this, yeah. Oh, some jet in their engines. I pretty much live on a in a boy race, I guess. Let's see how to forget that. That'll stop eventually. Well that looks alright. Let's let's have a look from the sides. Well that looks quite nice. I like that. Enjoying what I've made. Look at that, really. I like this uh, view. We've got a view up, and then we can see the mammoths walking around on the hills. So I think we should better introduce them now. We'll put our females in their paddocks. Um, let's see. We'll start with the. We'll make a mix. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Put 
ومن هي Put another bunch in here. Okay, selected. And then we'll go one, two, three. Oh, they're running around, isn't that cute? So I select and put them in here. Put the big male. I think we'll. What we'll do is put. No, we don't want to change the name. He's got no name. <laughs> oh no! Just grab them all. Space selected. Now that does not look great. Let's have a look. So we'll come down here and see. Oh, look, there's a bunch of mammoths just wandering about. Let's come down here and see what's there. It's a little round spot there. I like the slope. Yeah, that's a good view of the herd. How does that look nice? Let's have a look at this one over here. Now that doesn't that look nice? Standing on the hills, foraging, adventuring. Have a look at this one down here. Obviously, you, there'll be gates. It was in the imagination. Imagine these gates. Oh, this must be the melanistic one. There'll be gates and such that we can move individuals to and from if they want to chat with individual elephants, mammoths, or whatever. And do what they please. This must be the foreign rift. This must be the melanistic one. So that's just pure black. Melanistic is just pure black. And there's pseudo melanistic, which is kind of black, but not really. And then our big male primal ball should be here because he's a must. Which doesn't look too bad of a pattern, actually. It'd be fun to take a picture of him because he's so cool. I think we'll go into screenshot mode and just let time pass and see how we get any nice pictures out of him. You just walk around in a circle. I 
get him in a nice, nice little outfit. See if we get him there. We could another one of them trumpeting. That'd be awesome. And I love the camera mode in this game, in this demo. <laughs> that looks like a nice one, actually. Let's see. Back out a wee bit. God, if you've seen the new Mammoth, of, oh, this just like, looks so good. Especially with that um, first shader that was shown off in the, uh, just yesterday. That was just, wow. Really shows how PK is just constantly improving itself. So I think that'll be a nice one. I think we'll just bring the focal distance. Something like that, yeah. Maybe. Something like that. Maybe one of them trumpeting, actually. I don't know how credit. Come on, trumpet for me. Could you please? Just walking around in a circle. It's actually a pretty big parrot with all things considered. A lot of city zoos will often have elephants, herd of elephants on no more than a few acres. Which considering their lifestyle of wandering across savannah is probably not the best thing. But ultimately, I think the issue is more with uh, social structure because often elephants are just thrown in random herds. Ooh, he's running around. He's angry. Try another one, another one. He's just like sitting in the corner there. No, I still think the climbing ball will be the best one. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's actually a nice one. I like that one actually. Come on, trumpet for me. You did it before, and I didn't get a chance to see it. So like quite a big happy elephant. Big happy mammoth.
God, this mammoth has gone through such a huge evolution since the Kickstarter. And well, the Kickstarter one, that was a big oof right there. Considering how it looks now. Oh, damn it. Now, th oh gosh. That had to happen. Just my luck. He trumpeted right when. Oh, God. That had to happen. It really did. That's just luck. It's always Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Now, that is pretty much a scientifically proven principle. Even though it isn't. <laughs> I just have to watch him and be keen eyed and then stop it. And if he's going for a drink. Oh, I really love this primal skin. The duck on the, on the face. I have a feeling it's going to do it soon. You just love wandering around, don't you? Just having fun. If I was a mammoth, I'd just wander around doing my thing. I don't blame him. Then again, you're a... Uh... Oh. That actually gave me a little bit of a fright. <laughs> didn't expect that. We need to put him into one time speed so we can follow him a bit better. Come on, do it for me. I can't wait to see the new Mammoth in game. That's going to be awesome. Oh, that's actually just a nice one. Just like that. I like that. Let's take that as an extra one. The one point time speed. Just in case we miss some trumpet again. So I thought that was quite a nice one. I don't know if hurting's quite a thing in this demo yet, but it's fine. It's a pretty huge enclosure for a mammoth. Oh, I just missed it. Do it again? Nope. What I think I'll do is, I know you guys don't want to watch me just wait for this mammoth to uh, trumpet, so I think we'll do, we'll do a quick overview and then I'll put it, take some time after the video to get a nice screenshot for you. Anyway, look at this. See, look, that's a pretty big paddock. Same with all the uh, mammoths chilling in here. God, that's so cool. The melanistic one there. Plenty of space to roam around. And 
Yeah, it'd be so cool when they add enrichment. Because remember, this is only a demo. This is going to be so cool in the future. There's so much cool stuff planned. It's going to be a GOAT game. So first, we'll do a quick overview of what we've done in the series. Since this is the final one. We see here we started off small with our Prenocephaly. Which I think still holds up as a quite a nice enclosure. See here, the little Prenos in there. Quite cute. And then we... I like that. Then we went to our Ugranalix, which I think still looks nice as well, like this hill in the middle. Still hurting in there. Then our Regalus with our Redwoods in the hills. Even just this pretty bare bones demo, you can create some real nice looking things. So we see, look through here. We can go up here as well and look at the, both of these paddocks we have there. And we have Ian Ector looking out into the water, which I think is a real nice touch for a nice big paddock. But we see female there by looks of it. Some over there too. And Ranger Mode is going to be awesome too. There's so much cool stuff planned. So excited. Then we'll move over here. And last but not least, definitely not least because mammoths are epic. Here we have our mammoths. The bull paddock in here where the males go where they have musk. Or they need to be separate. Any animals need to be separated. And then here we have the three separate paddocks for the three different like herds, quote unquote, that can mix and mingle whenever they choose. I really hope animal gates are a thing too. But yeah, have a full look over of the paddock park. Look how much space I still could use. Look at all that. This is all that's usable pretty much in your game. So I barely even filled up a quarter, if if that. So if you can think how much four animals, five animals took up, imagine how much 50 is going to take to get to 50. Ooh, well, anyway... Really, guys, thank you for watching the series. I really had a lot of fun making this. And I really, guys, you really like you guys to like and subscribe for more content coming. I'll be doing more PK stuff when I can. I'll be doing, obviously, reviews of the devlogs, anything, talk about it. I'd really love to hear what you guys would like me to make. I'm really interested in your guys' feedback. And, yeah, hopefully, guys, like and subscribe. And bye-bye.